skincare routine that nobody asked for um recently i decided that i wanted to be more consistent with my skincare and you know do a little bit more than just wash my face and put lotion on it so i am trying out some new products here today so here i am just washing my face the usual i don't use this spin brush often i just use it every now and then for good exfoliation so today I'm just doing a little dry exfoliating before I go in with my um, actual cleanser. Alright, so I have a couple of um, cleanser options to choose from. I don't use these at the same time, obviously. I pick and choose once in a while whichever one that fits whatever I'm going for. Um, today I will be using the tea tree one from the body shop. But on an everyday basis, I like to use a more gentle cleanser that kind of just, you know, does the do without all the extra stuff, you know? So like I said, I rarely use this brush because I get really lazy when it comes to washing my face at night. I like to just use my makeup wipes and go, but I've been trying to be consistent and like actually wash my face at night as well as in the morning obviously i wash my face every morning but i try to do a little bit more than just wiping my makeup off and going to bed i want to actually wash it off too I'm going in with the tea tree toner from also from the body shops part of their tea tree collection and I just like to use this to clean up any like excess that I might have missed washing my face you know there's always a little bit of extra dirt and makeup and residue still on your face so that's what I like to use this for why am I yelling? This should have been an ASMR. This could have been an ASMR. Maybe next video. Anyways, and now I'm putting some moisturizer on these dry lips. And this moisturizer is really nice. It's super soft and it smells good as well. But it's expensive. I didn't buy it though. You know that's a sample. Me and my free samples. So here is the new part of my routine, serum, and these are two products from The Ordinary. Here is Alpha Arbutin, Arbutin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid, and this is supposed to reduce the look of spots and hyperpigmentation, which is my biggest skin issue. So the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% is another serum. Niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, and the zinc complex is supposed to reduce the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. So basically, it's just supposed to give you a nicer skin texture. Here, my first time using these products, I mixed them together. I don't know why I did, but I just did. But I read that the best way to apply serums and just products in general is to use the one that you want the most results from first. So obviously, like I said, my biggest issue is the hyperpigmentation. So I'm going to reach for the Alpha Arbutin first because that's my problem issue that's like my main thing so now I've been putting that on first and then I'll put the niacinamide on top I received these two other products from influencer his video is not sponsored everything was paid for with my money aside from these two products so I've actually incorporated these two into my routine as well um, like I said I don't use all these products at the same time I'll switch back and forth like one day I'll use 
one brand the other day i'll use the other brand i don't know if that's good i don't know if that's a good idea to do like i'm no skin expert i don't know what the hell i'm doing clearly you'll see in a few minutes that i have no idea what i'm doing but i'm just going with it and seeing what works So you're about to see me fail and do, you know, the most stupid shit. I didn't know this was going to happen, but you'll see. So this is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. AHA stands for alpha hydroxy acid. BHA is beta hydroxy acid. So these are supposed to exfoliate the skin's surface for a brighter and more even appearance. Now, when it comes to HAs and BHAs, you have to be careful with what you mix them with. I didn't know that, I mean, I honestly still don't know what the problem was here when I used it, like what I shouldn't be mixing it with. I wasn't using any other acid. I didn't use the glycolic acid. I didn't, I don't know, so. This shit is burning, actually. Okay. Most family channels don't fucking last. Most couple channels don't fucking last. Because a lot of times people do shit for money. Okay? Oh my god, this is burning. I'm just going to put oil in here. Make sure I get all my nutrients to the oil. Most family channels don't fucking last. Austin is oh a narcissistic piece of caca. But a rapist? I'm going to need some receipts for that one. Oh my god. Drop my milk. Oh my god. Show me the fucking receipts. Y'all, make sure I use almond milk here on milkshakes and cereal. If you're eating whole milk, you're basically drinking cow piss and fucking uh, semen and um, scabs and blood. On oh, my forehead. Oh my goodness. I don't think that's supposed to happen. If any skin experts are watching this video and laughing at me, I mean, it's okay. You can laugh at me because clearly I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But as long as you're laughing and also about to leave a comment, you know, being constructive and helping assist out because I need the help, let me know. Like, Is this supposed to be burning? Because it's burning. I'm about to wash it off. <clears throat> but those are my views. Oh my goodness. It's called sea moss. It's that's out of Africa. And it has a sign D P. Nah, boy. How to the fucking no. No. I gotta try it over another time. Cause no. No. After that madness, we're gonna go in with some sunscreen. Here's another step that I added into my routine because I never used to use sunscreen, but now I feel like I have to be committed to sunscreen because I'm using all these AHAs, BHAs. These products make your face very sensitive to the sun and any type of like sun exposure. I've been using this Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun, SPF 50, PA++++, okay, this is a Korean product, I think, yeah, this is the real deal, I paid $15 for this shit, bro, I never thought I would be spending $15 on sunscreen, and facial sunscreen at that, so far, I love this sunscreen, it is what it says it is, it does what it says it's supposed to do, it has no white cast. I have no problem with that. It's moisturizing. I, 
I feel like I don't need to use a moisturizer on top. Um, it's just kind of overkill when I use moisturizer on top. When I'm not using sunscreen, for example, when I'm doing my night routine, I use this Origins Pore Clearing Moisturizer with Bamboo Charcoal. So this I also got from Influencer. Influencer be coming through with the products, okay? I love them. Um, yeah, so this is what I use and I used to use on the everyday basis before I got the sunscreen. And I really love this moisturizer. It's super lightweight, but still moisturizing. It doesn't feel like too heavy and it doesn't feel super greasy at all. I think my skin has been glowing a little bit more. My I still have the dark spots and you know, the dark areas, but I'm working on it. We're gonna see. So far, it's all right. So let me shut up because the video ended a long time ago. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for 700 subscribers. I love y'all. Y'all the best. Um, yeah. Thanks.